We've talked about where we use foam and how it's applied and how important it is to the con overall construction of our boats. And we thought that uh, perhaps uh, no more vivid way to demonstrate that than to put in what we call a cutaway boat, which is a production boat with large pieces that have been cut away. And we use this in a lot of the boat shows to, uh, to demonstrate just what we've been talking about, and that is that our boats will float above the water even with large pieces cut out when they're in a fully swamped position. So this boat will begin to take on water uh, real rapidly, and uh, you can begin to see how important this is. Even though uh, all boats are required to have foam under 20 foot, uh, it's a Coast Guard, U.S. Coast Guard regulation, uh, we begin where that Coast Guard regulation cuts off, and that's a trademark of uh, Ranger product. You can see the water is beginning to spill over into the interior and uh, filling up on the inside. And that, the foam flotation obviously is, is uh, for safety purposes, is number one reason for us doing it. But inside the boat, where we have large pieces of foam inside, it, just, it, it lends to that one piece feel. So we're trying to fill every cavity that's not used for something else with this flotation material. And there's no gimmicks, this is really what you see. We've cut away large sections of the boat to uh, illustrate not only the flotation, but the stability of this boat. You can see that uh, I'm floating freely, and you know, safety is a big part of what we do and are very much concerned about. And uh, for you and your family, as a, as a Ranger owner, the foam is in the, between the, the inner deck and the hull. And I, I hope that this is really helping you to understand this is a standard production 520 and uh, has it's fully rigged, in fact, with the uh, EFI engine and all the batteries, the uh, oil tank and the charger, just like you would have a fully rigged boat. So this is not by no means a gutted out boat. This thing has everything that you would normally have. And, uh, you know, it's weighted with fuel in the tanks and everything. So we're really looking at a real live article. About as much water as this boat's going to get, even with these large pieces cut out, is about uh, four or five inches of water in the cockpit area. Uh, there's large holes in the bow, uh, uh, the drain plugs even out of this boat. So we've got a lot, we've introduced a lot of water.